A planet as massive as Mars was lurking on the edge of the solar system, which theoretically has the potential to bring widespread devastation to our corner of the cosmos. Last month, a team from the University of Arizona has revealed the gravitational pull of a Mars-sized planet may be slightly altering the object's trajectory through space. The orbit of the objects, known as Kuiper Belt objects, as they are in the uh, circumstellar disk full of icy asteroids, comets, and dwarf planets, which encompasses the solar system, is off by a huge 8 degrees. There is a core group of people out there that believe that there is a rogue planet, or even a binary system of planets, that is making its way through the solar system. As these objects pass through the Kuiper Belt, the gravitational pull of these objects could cause asteroids and comets within the belt to be uh, brought in with it in the direction of Earth. So if the space debris were to be pulled along with the objects of interest, then I don't think that I would have to tell you what would happen. I will leave that to your imagination. Scientists at the University of Arizona's Lunar and Planetary Laboratory are concerned that there is an unseen mass that is now warping the orbital plane of the outer solar system. And so we shall await further news on this, as I am sure there is much more forthcoming. As you may have heard, this summer has been incredibly hot. The heat index is setting records for some of the hottest days on record, and with the heat comes a risk of massive wildfires and incredibly violent weather. Let's review some record-breaking events, including major seismic unrest, over the past few weeks. We'll begin with record-breaking heat waves that have turned the southwest of the United States into a Dante's Inferno. In Arizona, the temperatures were so extreme that items made of plastic began melting, as shown in these images. A 112-year heat record was broken in Phoenix, with temperatures hovering at 117 degrees. While in Los Angeles, temperatures rose to nearly 100 degrees, breaking a 131-year-old record. In Southern California, more than 10,000 dairy cattle have already died from the excessive heat, causing big losses for the industry. Wildfires are engulfing the western states and British Columbia. According to the National Weather Service, there were 40 uncontained large U.S. wildfires across the West. One of the largest was the Truckee Fire in Nevada, which was burning nearly 100,000 acres. British Columbia declared its first state of emergency in 14 years, as dozens of wildfires spread throughout the rural interior, forcing thousands out of their homes. Take a look. Seismic unrest has intensified in the last month. The largest earthquake to be felt in years rocked an area of Montana northwest of Yellowstone National Park on July 6th. The 5.8 magnitude earthquake was also felt in Oregon and Washington State. 
It was the third largest quake recorded in the last century for Montana. This was followed by another earthquake swarm north of Yellowstone, where just last month a swarm of more than 1,000 quakes rocked the area in and around the supervolcano. Volcanic alerts continue to make news around the world. Bogoslav Volcano in Alaska is now on red alert after an eruption that happened on July 4th. Another eruption occurred the following day at the Cleveland Volcano. The explosive eruption was detected by seismic and infrasonic measurements, raising the code level to orange. In the United Arab Emirates, a relentless weather anomaly caused unbelievable havoc in the region. It was compared to the apocalypse by its residents. The storm was so powerful that it killed camels fleeing in the desert. Even power utility poles could not resist the powerful force of the winds. The streets of Berlin and Moscow became like rivers as extreme storms engulfed the region. In Berlin, extreme downpours left many streets flooded as the city's infrastructure struggled to deal with the torrential rain. In Moscow, the worst storm in over 100 years paralyzed the city. Almost one-third of the normal monthly rainfall fell in just 12 hours. Take a look at the storm time-lapse from Moscow. Japan saw catastrophic floods brought on by unprecedented rainfall. The nation's meteorological agency described the situation best. We are seeing rains like nothing ever experienced before. It is an abnormal situation. More than 30 inches of rain fell in just nine hours. Take a look. In central New York State, a weather system dumped massive amounts of rain in a short time frame. A resident of Utica commented, Our weather has gone completely haywire. We have never had weather like this before. Why do I have the feeling that this is only the beginning? This is what it looked like.
Since our last report, another huge wave anomaly has taken place on the MIMIC maps. It is once again connected to the mysterious Antarctica. This massive anomaly seems to shift with the wind pattern. Look at the wave anomalies directly from the GI image here. Watch the bottom right corner as the anomaly appears. This is yet another strange anomaly that is still waiting to be explained. I mentioned at the onset of this video presentation that space debris is being pulled out of the Kuiper Belt by an unseen force believed to be lurking in our solar system, and that this is something that could affect every living thing on this planet. A while back, a meteor with the explosive power of 10 cruise missiles struck the moon, sparking a massive explosion visible with the naked eye. Now, NASA is warning that the Earth may be next. The 56,000 mile per hour collision was caused by a space rock weighing no more than 88 pounds. The gigantic blast was captured by NASA scientists highlighting the catastrophic danger that planet Earth faces from similar space bullets. Despite its small size, the impact damage was colossal, and the explosion shone with the brightness of a magnitude 4 star. Take a look. A similar strike against a city on Earth would create a crater 65 feet deep and create a devastating kill zone equivalent to 10 Tomahawk cruise missiles striking in exactly the same place. For the past eight years, NASA has been monitoring the moon for signs of explosions caused by meteors. They've just seen the biggest explosion in the history of the program. It exploded in a flash ten times as bright as anything previously seen. The first asteroid discovered was Ceres in 1801. There are currently over 600,000 known asteroids in our solar system. Most asteroids are found orbiting in the asteroid belt, a series of rings located between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. The meteor that permeated the sky over Russia a few years back is the largest known object to have entered the Earth's atmosphere since the uh, Tunguska event of 1908, which destroyed a large section of the Siberian forest. NASA recently warned the public that the sun's 11-year cycle was approaching solar minimum, a time when enormous space weather events would take place as sunspots would become relatively obscure on its surface. Space weather refers to the environmental conditions in Earth's magnetosphere, ionosphere, and the thermosphere due to the sun and the solar wind that can influence the functioning and the reliability of satellites and ground-based systems and services, as well as endanger property or human health. In a previous video I mentioned the fact that in October of last year, then-President Obama signed an executive order to prepare the nation for space weather events. This order was implemented for a very important reason. Our fragile nation, as well as many others across the world, are not sufficiently prepared for space weather events such as solar flares and particles and geomagnetic disturbances. Preparation should and could have been made years ago for such events, but sadly we will soon deal with the consequences of our inaction on this front. What this means is that we should anticipate extreme space weather events in our near future, those that could significantly degrade critical infrastructure, that could disable large portions of the electrical power grid, resulting in cascading failures that could affect key services, such as water supply, health care, and transportation. Space weather has potential to simultaneously affect and disrupt health and safety 
across entire continents. Just recently, a huge coronal hole opened up on the sun's atmosphere, which impacted the Earth within the last couple of days. There are some experts who believe that this massive hole, as it turned and faced Earth, was responsible for the hike in volcanic activity and the surprising magnitude 5.8 earthquake, which hit Montana this month. It will be interesting to see if the spike in activity continues. Other experts are indicating that a mini ice age is just around the corner, with sunspot activity as low at this moment as it was in the 17th century when low sunspot activity was thought to have caused the last mini ice age. Even so, the warming of our world and the tremendous spike in temperatures would suggest that this scenario is unlikely to happen in our immediate future. We are certainly living in perilous times. We cannot afford to be complacent with all that is happening around us. We must stay focused and alert as we search the heavens for the signs that will guide us in our journey. If we hope to find the truth, we must first search for the answers that will lead us to that end. Without belief there can be no truth, and without truth there can be no trust. So, my friends, go forward with diligence of heart, seek the truth where it can be found, be mindful of your surroundings, and keep looking to the sky.